Welcome, welcome back to True Hall of Fame Builds. I'm your host, Michael May, and today I'm going to be pitching some of the ideas that I have that I would like to see in NBA 2K25. Now, you guys already know, for those that know me, for years, for years, I've pitched 2K ideas, and some of my ideas actually made it into NBA 2K. Ready? One of my ideas about two years back, I said there should be a progression in badges and, and a digression in badges. Why? Because everything in life is a, is the system of if you if you use it, you keep it. But if you don't use it, you lose it. You feel what I'm saying? That's the natural order of life. So I've pitched a lot of ideas to 2K. Well, right? now, before we get into it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn on notifications. Y'all already know what time it is. Now, one of my first ideas I would like to see. NBA 2K is the only game. Wrong. Madden has it too. But um soccer, uh baseball, um, hear me out. Any sport where a number is there, I want you to understand. They got to allow us to use all of the numbers available for a player. Let me give you an example. If I want to make my Michael Jordan build, right? But I want to put him on the Bulls. He should be, I should be able to still wear number 23 on the Bulls. Why? Why? Because I want to, I want it to feel real. Let me give you an example, right? Right here. So here I got Ken Griffey. I got Manny Ramirez, Derek Jeter, Barry Bonds, right? Mike Piazza. Let's go. Let's go. And I just found this out. I just found this out on MLB. Ready? Look. So let's look. Right? So this is my Barry Bonds. I've made it to the major leagues with him already. I am number. Let's see. Hold up. Let's, 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 let's go to his build. So you guys can see it. Right? Look. Boom. I'm on the Giants. Number 25. Barry Bonds. Then when we're playing in the game, we get to use the audio. We get to use the audio of their names. Now, we're gonna skip that part for a quick second, right? Hit me out. I get to be Barry Bonds, ready? Let's do, let, 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 let's do another one. See, cause I want, I wanna, I wanna go break Barry Bonds's 756 career home runs so I, when i break it i want to be able to still feel the authenticity of playing like barry bonds so we can do it again ready look load i just got my derek jeter he's on the yankees he's on the yankees right i just got him out of the, the triple a but let's look Derek Jeter, number two on the Yankees. Y'all have to give us the ability to play the game how we see fit. If we want to be number 23 on the Chicago Bulls, by all means, I don't see what the issue would be. I mean, it doesn't matter if their number's retired or not, right? It doesn't matter, but now let's really, let's really get into some really nitty gritty of some ideas, right? I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm more kind of discombobulated, but I want to make sure that, right? So let's, so I'm going to let this run while, while we talk. If I have my Michael Jordan, when I'm in the wreck, if I score a point, if I'm the home team, it should be like Michael Jordan. And then if I'm on the way team and I score for two, Michael 
Jordan. Y'all know how they can make it more theatric for... That would make the game much more exciting to play. Right? So now, this is my Zion Williamson build. Don't worry about it. I'll break this game down a little later. Let me just speed it up so y'all guys get, have, have a game to watch in the background. So hear me out, right? Another idea that I think you guys should give us access to. Give us the option to pick whichever we want to play in. Maybe I want to play in Jordan's era. Maybe I want to play in Magic's era. Before, like, MJ. Maybe I want to play in Bill Russell's era. Because y'all made the old school thing where you made the game look fuzzy. Everybody should be able to play in their own era. Now, if we choose to make a Michael Jordan and still play in today's era, cool. We should still have access to the numbers. We know these numbers are retired. We know Bill Russell's numbers retired. We know that. But to, but to lock to lock numbers up and then you play in the game, but you got to be on the Sacramento Kings to have number 23 and number 24. Why? That's stupid. That's dumb. What if I want to be on the Bulls and break all of MJ's records? Like, it just, it, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense, right? Now, now that we still in the wreck, idea number, so I already said, jersey numbers, all the numbers should be available for every single team. Um, I said the audio, the name should be available right here in the wreck. Like, all these people, let the cheering be louder. You know what I'm saying? Let let the cheering be a little louder. But now let, let, let's keep rocking and rolling. Then I said, let us pick the error. Okay. Idea suggestion number four. Huh. <sighs> I think the quarters should be a little longer. Move it till about seven minutes. And I think that you should allow two substitutions. Mind you, you should allow two subs. So you go into the game and then you pick your secondary player that in case things aren't going well, you could switch him, but he's still going to be in the same position. Right? So now, that's going to make the game a lot more interesting. See what I'm saying? That's going to make the game a lot more interesting. Now, you could only sub them in. Now, if you don't want to sub back to your other player, cool. But then, if you want to sub back, that's all you get. You get two times. You get a limit. You get a limit. Right? Now, I think that you should make the players especially in real basketball as you can see Kyrie Irving doesn't always have the ball in his hands so if you're a point guard that always has to run with the ball run with the ball and you're dribbling 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 make him tired faster that's idea number five make him tired faster that would be interesting because now it's like he has to give up the ball now now it's real 
Now it's because you hear in the NBA, you hear in the NBA, they say things like, yeah, if Anthony Edwards or they, they like, like, like in the last one, oh, they didn't really want him guarding Murray because they wanted him to reserve some of that energy for the offensive effectiveness because to have to give you all on defense and on offense. So coaches know how to reserve. People should learn how to reserve their players. I'm telling you, y'all not going to like this video. And I'm going to send it to Chris. Shout out to Chris. Shout out to Black Cobra. Shout out to Dimes. Dom work. You know what I'm saying? These boys help me get the connect to um 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 LD2K. You know what I'm saying? Like Chris is a great guy. And I will be I'm I am going to send them this video. I am. Because I think some of these ideas would really make the game fun. Now, here's another idea that I know nobody's going to appreciate. But if y'all want to make it real, listen to me, 2K. Hear me. 2K, hear me out. You should make two games. A high school collegiate kind of thing where you can go to high school you got to play a full season in high school hear me listen listen depending on your skill you should be able to transfer the player over to NBA 2k why I say this listen listen Maybe somebody only wanted to play high school to get certain badges and then they wanted to jump right into the NBA because you know, you no longer can go from high school to the NBA. You have to play one year college. So they should, they should really be able to play one full season, not no 10 games. No, that ain't enough to work your badges because if you give somebody one full season in college, their player should come out better. If they choose to skip, listen, if they choose to skip, unless like their primary attribute is like dunking or like shooting, that's different. But if people want to make a balanced player, how most people be like, hey, everybody swear, my player could do it all. I could do it all. Bullshit. Because I be seeing yeah, these dudes is trash. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. These dudes is trash. Trash. These dudes is trash in this game. But hear me out. If you have like a specialty, like you're a shooter, you're going to come into the NBA and be effective. Right? But, your other badges go up a little slower. Almost like you gotta gain that skill, right? But if they go to through the college, collegiate level, whatever y'all wanna say, right? They, they, they go to the college level, now they get the full progress of the badges. Hear me, 2K. That's that. That's another idea. Here's another idea. You should let the players get old. You have all these seasons. Every season, the player gets old. The player ages. Now hear me. Listen. 2K, hear me out. There's not many players that come into the league and immediately they're effective. And I'm talking about the Kobe Bryant's of the world, the LeBron James's, the Michael Jordan's, and the, there aren't many people that just come right into the league and they're just super effective. This is the part that you wanna capture, right? So now, you have, there are people that never played that never won the championship on their um in their in their um in their season, 
Ready? Brutal Sims is a big career head. Shout out to Brutal Sims. You ready? You can't get comeback kid on Hall of Fame until you play. You can, you can get you can get it up to, to gold. But you can't get it on to Hall of Fame until you proving yourself for two seasons in the NBA. I guarantee you niggas is gonna grind my career then. Oh, I guarantee you they're gonna grind my career then. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Or rebound chaser on Hall of Fame. Okay. But you haven't. But these guys are making players jump right into the wreck, missing the whole experience of the game. You want, you want, you want, um, uh, um, um, you could start, you could start with silver rebound chaser, right? You want golden Hall of Fame depending on your badge? You're gonna need to play two years. Every year you go up and depending on how many rebounds you grab, like make it feel like they have to work for something. And that would force people to play my career a lot more. Now, that that's un you get again another idea. Hear me out. I said this once before. And I'm going to say it again. This one idea, I haven't seen it yet. First of all, I think 2K should give me my 2K Builder logo. I need my... I, 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 make, I make some of the best builds in the game. I need my logo. I don't need my 2K logo. I need that build logo. But hear me out. You should... You need to put milestones milestone icons over people's heads ready look i'm gonna go back to the beginning of this game let's go here right boom look mind you you can't see the milestone here because you don't want people to be like oh he got this so let me go in there nah you want it to be right Right here, right here, when the game starts, let's just say above this guy's head. Let's say there's different levels. He already shot 1,500 three-pointers. Him in the wreck. He has the bronze three-point logo over his head. Let's say this guy right here, the fake Russell Westbrook, him right here. He already got a thousand dunks and makes stages. A thousand dunks gets the bronze. Mind you, it ain't a thousand dunks in total. No, this specific player has a thousand dunks. Make it a thousand, three thousand and seven thousand. Ready? Let's change it. 1,000, 2,500, 5,000, and 7,000. Bronze, silver, gold, Hall of Fame. If this, if this man right here got 7,000, 7,000 dunks with this build right here, we know what he's trying to do. That'll be fire. That'll be super fire. Him. Mind you, I don't care if he goes to another player. No. That means that he's grinding this player. You're giving people something to grind for. You feel what I'm saying? Do y'all understand what I'm saying? And I think that every build, whatever you want. Ready? I make KD. Ready? So... This middle guy over here, the middle guy. No, number 36. Midi Magician. 2,000, 3,500, 5,000, and 8,000. Imagine number 36 got gold. Midi Magician. We already know what he want to do. We already know what he's trying to do. But it makes people play 
for something. For something. Listen, man. I ain't trying to keep y'all long. I got many more ideas. I'll do a part two. This is just the beginning. Y'all already know. Shout out to everybody. Thank you for being here. True Hall of Fame Builds. I'm your host, Michael May. Y'all already know. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Turn on notifications. Y'all already know. Till next time, we out.